Hello there, David Thompson here from the world of tech.net, and in this video we are going to be taking a look at the hardware of the Nokia X6. So, if we begin, here is the Nokia X6. Starting up at the top, we have the Nokia logo, as expected, on every Nokia phone you will find. You have the speakers there for when you're in a call. On the left, you have X6, and on the right, you just have a tinsy little arrow type thing and just a that's like a button a touch button here you have a front facing camera which is a nice feature you don't get that with all phones at the moment but it isn't the highest quality front facing camera but it is there <clears throat> moving down the phone you have the screen here it's a 3.2 inch TFT touch screen phone which it's not AMOLED it's not super AMOLED and it's not a fancy screen at all. It's a very basic touchscreen screen and I am impressed with it. It is better than other touchscreen screens I have used. It doesn't have Gorilla Glass but I would say it's high quality for what it is and for the price of the phone I wouldn't expect much else. On the bottom you have three buttons which you don't rarely find on touchscreen phones at the moment but I really do like having buttons on a phone. The iPhone just has one button but I do like the three buttons as they light up when you can see them in the dark. You may not be able to see that but they do light up so the phone down or the cut call button, the menu and of course the call and I really do like that feature of having that. <coughs> On the front here we have pink, as you can see pink and white. Well there's two pink strips as this is the more girl version of the phone which we got sent out. However, um, you can get that in different colours. I know there's orange, there's blue. Um, just have a look on Nokia's website and you will be able to see all the different colours. On the bottom, it's just to get the back of the, the um, back of the phone off. On the back we have another Nokia logo which is expected, most phones have their logo on the back. Here we have a 5 megapixel camera which is reasonable quality, I wouldn't say it, it. you get the quality of a 5 megapixel camera like you would on the iPhone but it is 5 megapixel. And here you have a dual LED flash which is very useful for taking pictures in the dark of course. On the left here we have two speakers and some phones, smartphones out there at the moment have really really poor sound quality and this phone is completely different with all these speakers I would expect very high sound quality. Here we have the SIM card latch to get the SIM card in but you have got to take the back off to get out as it would be impossible and here you just lock it into place like that, really simple just put your nail underneath and open it out like that. So moving on to the top of the phone here we have the USB connection to sync it with your computer and put files etc copying across here we have the power connection I'm quite sad to see that the power connection here and the um, connection for your computer aren't combined unlike most phones now they are combined and they you can plug the power cord into the sync connection and sync connection into the power cord and it's just one port but on here it doesn't have that you have a headphone port standard completely standard so you can put the standard jack headphone in there and here we have the on and off button which all Nokia phones do feature the on and off button on the left we have the standard up and down volume and here we have a very interesting button yes it is the lock button you just slide your hand down the side like that so it's retractable it just pops back into place and it's to unlock and lock the phone and it seems the most natural way of doing it as opposed to pressing buttons holding down other buttons etc you just slide your finger across the bottom so this is the Nokia X6 having a look at the ergonomics it is very ergonomic phone and it's comfortable to hold so if you're in a very long phone call business matters maybe it is a very comfortable phone to hold indeed like the iPhone here this does get quite uncomfortable after a long time of holding it but here 
it is very ergonomic as it is curved so your hand automatically adjusts around the curve one disadvantage though with that curve is it a very thick phone I don't know why it's so thick but it is significantly not as wide but a lot thicker than other phones that's not as wide because the screen isn't as wide it's 3.2 inches but the screen could be a lot better if it was wider like on the Nokia X7 and a lot thinner so this has been a hardware overview of the Nokia X6 Please do take a look at the full review when it was up very shortly. And please do head over to the worldoftech.net for the latest tech news and reviews. So from me, it's bye for now.